Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Becca and I'm the music teacher who blogs over at meccasmusicroom.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a lesson that I use with usually second or third grade that goes along with the book, I Know a Shy Fellow Who Swallowed a Cello. If you enjoy this, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share so that other people can find it as well. All right, so I have a very special place in my heart for this book because it is just so, so silly. And it's just so wonderful and it goes through lots of different instruments so I use this book to teach instruments either instrument names or instrument families usually is what I do with my second third grade ish now I have a whole product down in the description that is on teachers pay teachers and you can see like how I do it with everything um, so I'll link that down below I also have a blog post so if you want to read a little bit more if you're still confused and maybe that'll help explain things better then you can read that as well both of those will be linked in the description and yeah let's get to it so first off I take some posters that say the different instrument families on them so like woodwind brass I don't have my glasses on that say strings and percussion I'm trying to like read them backwards in the viewfinder <laughs> without my glasses on and I spread these out on the floor or on the board alternatively you could make an anchor chart that has the four instrument families on them and that would also work so once you have that up um what I do is I read the story to the kids and I have them act out each of the instruments so that they can kind of figure out how you play them. So I'm not gonna read the whole thing, I'm just gonna read a little bit so you can kind of see what I mean. All right, so it says, I know a shy fellow who swallowed a cello. I don't know why he swallowed a cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. So the kids will do, um, they'll play their cello and then let's say perhaps he'll bellow. Then what we do is we pause and I pull out my little cello card and I have the kids raise their hands and tell me which instrument family they think the cello would be in. So when someone gets it right, then I will have them come grab this and put it on the board on their, on the strings box or on the anchor chart. And it says, I know a shy fellow who swallowed a harp not so sharp to swallow a harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. So for that it would be, um, he swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. And then same thing, we'll stop. We'll pull out my little harp card that has a picture and the name. I'll have somebody tell me what instrument family it is. They'll go set it down on the strings. And this is the last one I'm gonna read. I know a shy fellow who swallowed a sax. Hard to relax when you swallow a sax. He swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. So again, the kids will do. Um, he swallowed the sax to jam with the harp. He swallowed the harp to jam with the cello. I don't know why he swallowed the cello. Perhaps he'll bellow. And then we'll pause and I'll show them the picture of the saxophone and I'll have them tell me what instrument family it would be in and we'll put it under woodwind. Um, so this obviously would come after you have already talked about the instrument families. Um, if you wanna use it before that, then I would use it more for just identifying instruments. So then just doing the motions with your hands, which is really great, especially if you are um, stuck in teacher's rooms after testing because kids can move, but in a very controlled way and with not a lot of space. So after we do that, then I will usually have them do one of two things. So either number one, they will get a piece of paper that looks pretty much the same as my anchor chart with um, the different instrument families and then the instruments on the bottom. And they either write the names of the instruments in the boxes um, and I have a version with it written on there. Um, or if you're really adventurous, you can have them cut it off and glue them in the correct boxes but you can feel free to do that. That would be a great thing to do if your kiddos are at home right now and you can have them do that instead and then color it up. The other thing, so that's usually number one to test, see how well they're doing with instrument families. And number two is usually that I will have them tell me what their favorite instrument is and draw a picture of it and write a little blurb on the bottom that says what it is and what family it is in. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will link the book and then also the TPT resource and the blog post if you want to read a little bit more about it down in the description so that you will have access to all of the things. Um, I hope you enjoy this. My kiddos love, 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 love this book. They think it is just the funniest thing, especially because we use, um, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly and different variants of it when they're kids. And so when they get to third grade and I pull this one out, it's just really great. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Go check out everything in the description. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.